boundaries and handcuffs. Let me go ahead and play this clip. Respect boundaries, not handcuffs and leashes. There's a big difference between a leash and boundaries. A leash is telling a person what she can and can't do. You can't wear this. You can't do this. That's that's a leash. That's handcuffs. You can't go here. Uh, you need to be in the house at 10 p.m. That's handcuffs. Those are leash. That's a leash. Boundaries are, this is what I require to be with me. Respect. You're going to respect me. You're going to carry yourself a certain type of way. You're free to do whatever you want to do. But make sure you respecting me. Make sure you respecting this relationship. You can go do whatever you want to do, right? And when women respect your boundaries, they're not going to do whatever they want to do. When you have boundaries, they get to make the decision if they want to stay within the boundaries or not. And a lot of times, nine times out of ten, they're going to choose to stay within those boundaries if they want the relationship to be successful. All right, there you go. That's the context. Boundaries versus handcuffs. Bruiser, I'm going to go to you first. Sir. What are your thoughts? Uh, I think he's just full of shit. <clears throat> Excuse my language. <laughs> I think he's full of crap. What? Well, the reason why I say that is it's it's the same thing. It's just one on the boundaries. He's just adding context to why you should not do it. It's the same thing. What? Bruiser, what the, the same hell thing. He's saying, about? he's saying, don't go out, don't go out at night. You got to be in at ten. That's a leash. <sighs> let but him. Then he say, don't do him. these other things. Don't disrespect me, you know. And then he went in the con. He elaborated on why you shouldn't do the things that he don't but, want you to do. No, nah, Bruiser, boundaries is you governing yourself. It's it's me not having to tell you because we're together. You knowing that these are guidelines because we are in a relationship. I'm going to let you do you, whether that's you going out, dressing like a hoochie mama, going to the club. Guys, listen up. As you get older, the best way to continue to look young, exuberant, and vibrant is to continue to take care of your skin. That's why I'm excited to have T. Chanley as a sponsor of today's video. You heard me talk about them before, and you're going to continue to hear me talk about them because I believe in their products and the positive impact that they have on every man's life. T. Chanley makes taking care of your skin so easy. They provide you with all the products you need and nothing that you don't. Every box comes with an instruction card that tells you when to use each product, how much to use, and in what order. La P family, I must admit, skincare wasn't always something I always focused on, but since I started using this system, I've seen improvements in the way my skin look and feels. And you don't have to take my word for it. They have over 5,000 five-star reviews on their website from satisfied customers from around the world. Mm -hmm. I recommend you start with the level one system, which comes with all the basics, a daily face wash, an exfoliating scrub, an AM moisturizer, and a PM moisturizer. In addition to amazing skin, members of Teach Handling get tons of benefits, including at least 20% off retail price, the ability to customize your box, pause or cancel at any time, and free U.S. shipping. And because Teach Handling is sponsoring today's video, they're offering my viewers a great deal. Just click that first link in the description and you'll get 30% off the first box plus the free gift. Seriously, that's an amazing deal. Even though it's too early, as I often say, it's never too late. Click that link and get started today. Or whether you doing whatever it is, but that's you governing yourself and, and you knowing the boundaries that you set around yourself. Like that's, okay, that's so, so if a man tell you, hey, I don't want you to be out till two in the morning, that's a that's considered according to him, that's considered a leash, right? No. That that's that's you stating what you what you was what do you well, I'm what? saying the way he the way he said it. Uh -huh. You going out all all these type of nights with your friends, don't do that. That's considered a a, le a leash, right? Correct. Like cup handcuffs, Correct. right? Correct. He's just saying. He's just so saying. If I was to... you decided not to do it because you okay, know hold on, hold on. But what I'm, I'm getting somewhere. So if he if he Go turn ahead. around and say if he turn around and say, hey, look, respect me. Don't don't do nothing that you you know you're not supposed to be doing. Respect me, you know, as a as your man. So if you look at it as a, as a way of respect, you like, okay, I probably don't need to be out too late because I'm a wife. You get what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's no, just the, boundary it's, is, the boundary is the standard you have. So you shouldn't have to keep tabs on somebody to make sure they're not doing respecting your boundaries. He's saying if you are in if, if you are standing on these are my boundaries, these are the standards that I set. If she respects you, she's going to operate within those anyway. You don't have to keep tabs on her to make sure she's so, not. Yeah, so he said these are the boundaries. These are the standards that I'm setting. Like I said, that's her. But what are they? 
he 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 has to go into detail on what these boundaries are. Yeah, but you're not are. you're not hawking her down. Hey, are you making sure hey, you know you're supposed to be you're not keep you're not her parole officer is the difference between mm -hmm. a handcuff. When you start acting like her parole officer, now you're trying to make her respect you when when there are some men who just sit and say these are the boundaries and she going to remember them because she wants to be in your presence. I know damn well if 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 I'm with Ali and I know these are the, the standards that he has set he doesn't have to keep telling me what not to wear to the club. I already know what to do. I already know not to go to the club because those are his boundaries. Now, a man that I don't respect, he's going to have, hey, you you out there at night, he going to keep tabs on her because now he has to operate and put a leash on her because she doesn't respect. If she respects you, right. you don't need a leash. He's going to operate as if there's one already. That's the difference. Bruiser, let me give you an example of yeah. boundaries and leash. Any woman that I'm with, she don't do girls trips, right? Just as an example. I don't ever have to have a conversation about her saying, hey, me and my, me and my girls gonna go on a girls trip. Cause I don't, I don't do all the girls trip shit. We're, we're, we're not doing that over here. So it's just a, it's a conversation that's never gonna have to be had. Because in the beginning, I established that as my requirements. In conversation, I'll say, this is something that I have an issue with. This is something just in conversation. Sometimes it could be something we're looking at a movie. Oh, hell no. You into this, this type of shit? Could, then she might say, no, nah, I'm not into that. Okay, done. It's established. All right, no girls trips or just an example. So a leash would be, hey, you better not do this while you go on a girls trip. You know what I mean? So it's an established rule that you just don't or established boundary that you just don't go over. And it never has to be talked about because you established that as, um, um, you know, a requirement in the beginning. So you're saying that, so you're saying the leash and the handcuff is repetitively having to say it all the time, every time she commit a specific action. So if she, yeah, if she like try a, to do something, you're, like you're constantly job. saying, Hey, look, I got you under the spotlight. I'm going to constantly micromanage everything you're it's doing. Like that's, when you that's work at a handcuff. company, they're, they're going to give you a pamphlet that says, don't do this. Don't do that. If you late a certain amount of times, you get rolled up, you get fired or whatever, and you don't do those things. Okay. And so, so the way you explain it, so the way you explain it, you went into, you went into context on, Hey, don't, don't be out all night. You said you were saying it as if I'm not going to keep He's not going to be out all night, period, because it was set in the beginning. It's never going to happen. And if it happens, you out on the street. You just out. You get what I'm saying? Just like yeah, a job. I, listen, I totally, you I totally really understand the way you're job, putting it. You're just going to get fired. You're out. I totally understand the way you're putting it. But the guy in the video, he, he didn't put it like that. He didn't he didn't break it down like you brought it down. You added more context to it. I get where Bruiser is coming from on just the video, and I get what Lucky's saying all the way correct. But what Bruiser is saying is like, um, if a man says, "Hey, don't go out," but he doesn't give an explanation, and then the other man says, "Don't go out," and then he gives an explanation, both of them probably have the same explanation. One just didn't say it, and one did. So is that? I'm making it more complicated than it have to be. A woman that respects you, you shouldn't have to explain to her how it is that she's moving. Okay, uh, putting a leash on a chick is is basically um, trying to monitor and o be overprotective, right? Or not even overprotective, but overbearing to an extent, right? Bro, like I'm not about to monitor you. I'm not about to chase you. I'm not about to do anything. But at the same time, a woman should understand, in a general sense. She's a reflection of me when she goes out, and so she shouldn't disrespect me like she wouldn't disrespect herself, right? Treat yourself in a similar way that you would treat me because you're an extension of me. It's, for me, it's very much that simple. Now, me as a man, I'm not about to be overbearing. I'm not chasing you. I'm not doing any of that type of stuff because, um, you know, that's just not me. I don't, I'm not overbearing. I don't need a leash on you. I'm actually trying to unleash you because... You going out there and doing what you're supposed to do actually brings in more resources and it makes I'm trying to figure out where your strong suits are so I can get you out there. I'm not trying to keep it contained, right? A lot of guys, I, I've seen guys that only want their chick in the house all the time. They don't want them out there. They don't want them with no friends. They don't want anything like that. That's having a leash on it, right? But a boundary is basically him saying, listen, I want you to go out. I want you to go have fun. I want you to go do things, but just don't be disrespectful. That's the difference. 